Yeah. Please fill me with the Roka Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. yud He vav He is our power and authority. Yahweh works in unity with Himself, and you shall act upon your love to Yahweh with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Philippians 2. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from me, from your being in union with the Messiah, any conflict flowing from love, any fellowship with me in the Spirit, or any compassion and sympathy, then complete my joy by having a common purpose and humility, having a common purpose and a common love by being one in heart and mind. Do nothing out of rivalry and vanity, but in humility regard each other as better than yourselves. Look out for each other's interests and not just for your own. Let your attitude toward one another be governed by your being in union with the Messiah Yeshua. Though he was in the form of God, he did not regard equality with God, something to be possessed by force. On the contrary, he emptied himself in that he took the form of a slave by becoming like human beings are. And when he appeared as a human being, he humbled himself still more by becoming obedient even to death, death on a stake as a criminal. Therefore God raised him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name, that in honor the name given Yeshua, every knee will bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue will acknowledge that Yeshua the Messiah is yod heh vav -He, to the glory of God the Father. So, my dear friends, just as you have always obeyed when I was with you, it is even more important that you obey now when I am away from you. Keep working out your deliverance with fear and trembling, for God is the one working among you, both the willing and the working, for what pleases Him. Do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may be blameless and pure children of God, without defect, in the midst of a twisted and perverted generation, among whom you shine like stars in the sky, as you hold on to the word of life. If you do this, I will be able to boast when the day of the Messiah comes, that I did not run or toil for nothing. Indeed, even if my lifeblood is poured out as a drink offering over the sacrifice and service of your faith, I will still be glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you too should be glad and rejoice with me. But I hope in the Lord Yeshua to send but I hope in the Lord Yeshua to send Timothy to you shortly, so that I too may be cheered by knowing how you are doing. I have no one who compares with him, who will care so sincerely for your welfare. People all put their own interest ahead of the Messiah Yeshua's. But you know his character, that like a child with his father, he, he slaved with me to advance the good news. So I hope to send him just as soon as I see how things go with me. And I am confident in the Lord that before long, I myself will come too. Also, I consider it necessary to send you Ephraidetus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier, the emissary whom you sent to take care of my needs, since he has been longing for you all and has been distressed because you heard he was ill. Indeed, he was ill, close to death. But God had mercy on him, and not only him, but also on me. Otherwise, I would have had sorrow piled on, piled on sorrow. Therefore, and I am all the more eager, eager to send him, so that you may rejoice when you see him again, and I, for my part, may be less sad. So give him a joyful welcome, the Lord. Honor such people, for he risked his life and nearly died working for the Messiah in order to give me the help. You were not in the position to give. Shaul pulls from 
Let's see here. Pulls from Isaiah 45, 23. Every knee will bow and every tongue will acknowledge. Isaiah 45, 23. 43. In the name of myself, I swore from my mouth has rightly gone out a word that will not return to me that every knee will bow and every tongue will sit, swear about me that only in yod heh vav -Heh are justice and strength. All who rage against him will come to be, will come to him ashamed. Next, with fear and trembling, Psalm 211. Serve yod heh vav -Heh with fear, rejoice, but with trembling. Lastly, a twisted and perverted generation, Deuteronomy 32.5. Deuteronomy 32.5. He is not corrupt. The defect is in his children, a crooked and perverted generation. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Philippians 3? We can learn quite a bit. We can aim to always be in union in heart and mind. Aim to encourage each other, flowing from love. Aim to be overflowing with compassion and sympathy. Know that joy is complete by having common love, being one in heart and mind. Aim to be humble in all that you do. Follow Yeshua's lead, unity, humility, servant, obedient. Know that one day soon every knee will bow and every tongue will acknowledge that Yeshua, the Messiah, is yet -Heh vav -Heh. To the glory of Yah, the Father, Aim to always obey. Aim to fear Yah. Please, Yah. Be blameless. Pure children of Yah. Aim to be set apart as you hold on to the word of life. Aim to be glad and rejoice with each other. Place your hope in Messiah Yeshua. Aim to be like Sha'ul and slave with each other to advance the good news. Be confident in the Lord. Trust that Yah is full of mercy. Aim to give your life for the work of Messiah. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can overflow with compassion for each other. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can make unity, humility, servanthood, and obedience to Yah's written word alive daily in your life. End with the Arianic blessing. Yud Hey Vav Hey will kneel before you, presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahava will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, in friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.